Good morning everybody, Irish Baker Abroad, Chris over here in Denmark, what's the story, what's the crack? Uh, today I'm going to do something special, this is something they eat up in Northern Ireland, alright, it's called Irish Soda Farls. Now, this is like our traditional Irish soda bread, more or less the same ingredients, we're going to pot it flat, cut it into four equal parts and stick it on the frying pan, okay? Traditionally it's done on a griddle, but I don't have one, like I always say, use what you have. Alright, okay, I'm gonna get straight into this, no messing around, here we go, Chris's Irish Soda Farls. <laughs> now, very easy, very simple, I've got some plain flour, I've got some salt, and I've got some bicarbonate of soda, bread soda, okay. That's three quarters of a teaspoon of soda, half a teaspoon of salt, and I've got 250 grams of plain flour. Bowl. In you go. I just want to aerate this a bit. Right, that's our dry ingredients everybody. It doesn't take long to mix that with a bit of buttermilk. So uh, I'm gonna heat this up really quickly. This is our frying pan. We don't want this pan to get too hot. We want a medium heat. If it's too hot, we'll brown too quickly on the outside and it will be raw in the center. All right, we don't want that. Okay, so I'm gonna put this to the side, let it heat up. Okay, now while that's heating away, we've got our dry ingredients here. Add in the buttermilk. I'm gonna hold back a bit. You don't want it too runny. I've said that before in other videos about scones, okay? So hold it back a bit. All right, here we go. I used all the buttermilk, 240 milliliters, and this is the consistency you're after, okay? A right, bit of flour. The dough out. Bit on top. And we just give this a little light knead, okay? Just like with scones. Just don't want to overwork it, all right? Here you go. Nice ball. Flour. Here you go. A little bit on top. You just want to pat this flat. You want it to be roughly two centimeters in height, okay? Or in thickness. That looks good. Four equal pieces. I'm just going to cut across here. Equal. Done, and the other way. Okay, I'm just gonna move that to the side. Our pan up to a medium heat. Now traditionally, you just use a bit of flour, okay? Sprinkle a bit of flour on. Nowadays, modern times, some people are throwing on oil and butter, but if you want to do it right, just a bit of flour. Get them on. Like that. Now, you want to give these about eight to 10 minutes on each side. We want to make sure it cooks through. You can check that afterwards with a skewer just to make sure, okay? I'm going to give that about eight minutes now to start off with, then we'll turn them over. Okay, these are rising up nicely. Uh, you'll know when it's time to turn over. If you touch here, 
If you feel it dry here about halfway up, then it's time, okay? All right, these have had about eight minutes now on a medium heat. I'm gonna turn them over. Have a look. Here you go. Beautiful. Okay, everyone, that's it. It's had about eight minutes on each side on a medium heat. Check it out. It's risen lovely. Check. Want to make sure it's done inside. This should come out dry. And it has. All right, everybody, that's it. Northern Irish soda furls. Right, somebody suggested a bit of butter, a bit of jam. So I've got some nice strawberry jam here from Denmark. Cut this open. Have a look inside. Beautiful, it's cooked. Most important thing, it's cooked. Right, right, there we go. Look at that, beautiful. Nice and soft. Taste. Right, that is absolutely bang on. Beautiful, nice and easy, very quick to do. Even if you're doing a fry in the morning, you can do this quickly on the side. All right, I hope you all give that a go. Let me know how you get on, and I'll see you next Thursday. All the best. See you after.